Hello my fellow gamers and going medieval fans and welcome to my completely new let's play started on a mountain map after update 3 with a new settlement design in mind. This is going to be a monastery cloister type settlement as suggested by Mauro who is actually going to be living in it. But he won't be alone as I have decided to invite some of my other subscribers who have added so many good ideas, tips and suggestions during my going medieval let's plays like Julie, Stefan, Lufulf, Yorkshire, Place There, Donright, Yukyusha and Arak Hino. If you want to join them, bring on your own tips and ideas. I do know there are many more of you who have written great tips and suggestions in the past, so if you don't mind, you will be part of future let's plays. As I have already pointed out all the important facts about update 3 in my previous video, link up here and below, I won't be explaining but actually using all those new features like different visual looks for structures, farming field controls and of course seeds and fuel. I hope you will enjoy this new let's play on a new map type and with a new settlement design as much as I already am. Now let us see where we are and what do we have to work with on this map. As I said in the intro, I am planning on making something that one of my subscribers, Mauro, has suggested, which is a monastery cloister. And for this, I need a flat piece of land that's actually fertile enough. I will have to remove the forest to be able to see that. So this area looks good. This is a big one. This is small. And over here, it would be interesting to make it on this mountain side, but one edge would not really work because it needs four sides to be a cloister. So at this point, all I see that this spot here is the best, although I will have to cut down this rock here in order to free up this side and then I can have four sides like this. So where should I start? Well, somewhere close to this if I want to work with this place. I could do something that you have suggested a long time ago, but I kind of have not had the time to use your suggestion. It is to start by building something next to something that's already built and that means next to a mountain that way you already have one side built and so i will use that this time around but let's first go through some of the necessary arrangements for all of my characters you and me because i have included myself here now when it comes to the jobs the schedule and the match tab i do need to put in some changes for the match tab i need to pick their weapons depending on their weapon skills so moro is a uh, melee character so he will use a melee weapon no shield and some headgear a helmet i will not put the armor on them because that will slow them down Luftwaffe, for example is another melee character so melee one-handed shield and helmet and so on and so forth and this is the last one so i have one two three four melee characters and the rest six of them are going to be arranged now as for their schedule it is quite simple on the first day just work work everybody needs to work do their thing and sleep only at about 2300 hours as for the jobs tab it requires a lot of management i'm going to start with everything being at disabled and then copy that to everybody else and then turn on to one the ones that are silver and gold because those are their main skills so that's double click on the actually that's just one click on the right click and then i can go with number two for anything that's high but they don't have let's say stars or not as high of a skill when there is cut plans but with learning capacity with two stars then we go with two and so on and so forth for all the characters now this is the setup i will start with where everybody has their main priority and then some secondaries although Stuart and hauling have been left off for the end if they don't really have anything else to do but i will probably find one person who doesn't have anything to do at that moment and then set his priorities for Stuart and hauling much higher but as i said this is just how we are going to start now nowhere to store resources yes i know but they need to first put on their gear so i need to allow all of this I do have three shields and I do have three people using one handed weaponry so that should be okay and as I said I want to start over here and this is where I want to farm and then later build my cloister so if this is where I start this is where I farm I might as well have my resources here and here so I'll do two stockpiles one is going to start from here just not to cover any farmable land and then wait no I want to expand it a little bit there we go 
and then I think this is too much actually. Okay, so that's better. Now I do need to set up the priorities here. So let's go with medium, not to put anything too strongly. And actually I'm going to allow everything and then just copy this one over to here, put it like so, and then expand it a little bit over here. Now, because I don't want anything to be rotting here, although there is an easy way not to have to put flooring on both of these, I can just choose the stuff that's not going to rot and place it on one side and then choose the stuff that's going to rot on the other one. And I'll do that really quickly. So what I have set up is that this stockpile can take everything that can rot and this one, everything that does not rot. That's basically just structures and material over here and over here, everything else. So now we need to give it some flooring and I will use the cheapest one that I can. And that is also going to be helped because I can just pick this from the environment. I can just allow my folks to use the sticks that are nearby over here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. There, there and there. And of course, I can simply tell them to cut down some of these bushes, especially over here where I will actually be making my little starting place where they are going to sleep. And then they can use that to actually build that starting stockpile. So this is their first order. Now the second order is for them to start making a home for themselves here and also to find some of the stuff that I'm going to need later on to actually be able to have my own plants and that is seeds. Now I do have some cabbage seeds to start with and that is something that is going to be located on the stockpile soon but besides cabbage I want some other plants as well so I need to find some of the other vegetation. There we go. So red currant shrubs, need to get those, need to get some of these herbs and flax and there's more flax. So we'll need to get all of this. So this is ripening, ripening, but this is ripe. So we'll get some good seeds from those. And is there anything else that can be found close by? And let's see over here. Nope. It seems that it's going to be a hard time to get seeds on the mountain map, which is of course something that you can expect, but I did not expect to have only like one single spot of wild plants, although they can grow and show up. So that is something that might happen. Oh, nice. Here's more of these red currants. And is there maybe something more here hidden? Oh, some red currants. Excellent. And no, no, no other sources of wild flax or barley that I can spot. Well, okay, that is something that will have to happen later. So we'll leave them to get that and start the construction of, yeah, idle is probably because they're not doing any construction. So do I waste my wood? Wood is kind of precious on the mountain map, so let's not waste wood. But actually, since I will need to tear down this mountain, as I said, well, it's not a mountain, it's a small hill. To tear it down, to be able to build here my future building, I might as well start here. And this is what, clay? That's useful? Oh, I shouldn't start with the ground level. I should start with the top level first. Yeah, that would be a much better choice. So let's go with this. Rocky soil is going to be taken away. Now, can they even climb up there? Oh, they can't through. Can you jump over here? I'm not sure. Let's give them a place. Oh, no limestone, right? Let's dig some limestone. Is this limestone? Yeah, it is. Okay. So they'll dig that, make that, and then I'll be able to walk through here, go up, dig that, and then we'll have something to build. Now, I might as well move the stockpile over here so that it's close by and they don't have to walk very far. So let's not use up that corner. Although I could use more sticks, so let's give them a job to get all the sticks of these bushes that are nearby. And I'll need sticks to burn for fuel to make food. And when I'm mentioning food, I might as well start with a campfire. And I can do that over here where it's going to be covered like so. And then have a research table right next to it like so. And then I'll need some limestone walls and then put something over that like attached roof or nope, like a wicker roof. And that pretty much does that. So if somebody will start doing research. I think that's who is priority one for research. Mauro. So you got to be the intellectual one in this group and you will be doing research from time to time. You'll do some tailoring, some plant cutting and some digging. So this is going well and they've already started. So wait, where did you find the limestone for this? Okay, whatever. It's good that you've started working on that. So we'll get limestone to build our house from but this will be built soon so we can start research. 
Now over here I do have some more stuff to cut and as I said I'm going to try and keep my lumber safe. Oh you still haven't moved all of this. Oh folks come on. Seriously? Stefan why aren't you wearing a weapon? What is up with it? Did I run out of bows? Oh I ran out of bows. So Stefan melee 14. Oh yeah you are not supposed to be a marksman even though you can learn it fast. I just don't have the weaponry for you so okay I'll go with what do we have left here do you even have a melee weapon for you it must have been moved over here let's see yeah I have a good staff for you so go with that manage Stefan and you'll do melee two hands for now go with a helmet if there is a helmet to be picked up oh did I just lose yep I just left this here okay let's get that okay so oh they've already finished excellent let's start using that cabbage before it gets ruined and just make sure that we don't burn coal wood or use red currants because we need them for seeds and no barley either because we need that for seeds as well so make food from that and the research should be started right away i can unlock architecture now and agriculture so that's excellent i am left with five chronicles so now with the agriculture unlocked I can use my cabbage seeds and I already have some flax seeds and some red currant seeds. Excellent. So cabbages, let's go. Well, might as well start right over here like so. And then we'll just expand this over to here or to here, here and here. And then we'll make a new one a bit further away so that if we get a blight, they don't all start getting into. No, I think I used copy instead of. Yeah, I should have used expand not copy okay so we'll do that so that's cabbage and cabbage and as i said i need to start with the red currants so and flax as well so some flax over here and some red currants over here we'll see how many of these do we have six and six oh we can do many more of these so expand all the way here and expand a little bit here here and here i think two tiles should be enough to stay away from blight but we'll see expand this a little bit more if we find more seeds of that now we do need to dig a hole to keep the food fresh and the medicine and if we are starting our first house here we might as well do that over here somewhere so let's go with wait if you are making food here might as well dig it over here then yeah let's go and dig it oh i don't want to dig where it's fertile let's dig over here then let's go with double row like Okay, I need this to be a path, so let's dig over here. Three by th two, and that will be enough. So, research. Why did you stop researching? Did you go to eat? No, you're, you're researching just from the corner. <laughs> okay, I guess that's okay. And this is being cooked. Cabbage is being used up. As I said, this should be start to be mined. Yeah, they're finishing off with this, and I will have plenty of limestone and clay now stefan you did not find a helmet did you yeah i ran out of helmets just go and get that cap then equip that now let's see it's 1800 hours i don't have a bed or anything so i should work on that so clay or limestone go with limestone since this is a limestone map there's plenty of that around so let's do this and this We'll have a doorway here. It's going to be the ugliest starting room ever, but that's just for the starters. So let's go with some hay beddings in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, and 10. Now we need a roof over this. Let's go with attached since I do have sticks. I uh, will actually have to get more sticks. I do have, yeah, very little clay actually hey although they still haven't picked this up come on folks what are you doing somebody needs to pick that up oh right because i gave them all the jobs before i actually let them finish this okay so somebody is going to have to go to number one who does not construct who does not construct moro but he writes so oh you have zero okay so you're going to get this okay i did not have to go with this to five just this so hauling at one Okay, this is animal husbandry that's far away, so Lofthof, you have to go and pick all that stuff up there. I'm going to actually take you over here. 
Oh, so yeah, they are now doing this once they have finished off all of their jobs that they are specialized for. Is there enough room here? I think there is. But anyway, I should get back to my roof because it's 2100 hours and they do not have a place to sleep. Why is that? Oh, I see. So like that, like that, that, that. There we go and finish it off like so. Okay, doorway is already there. Do they have the beds? Have they built all the beds? Yeah, they will soon. Where is Lofsov? Oh yeah, sorry about that Lofsov. Let's go with, nope, not consume, prioritize hauling. So haul all the cabbage, there we go. And then I'll need somebody else, how about Stefan, to get those armors because they're going to rot there. Oh my God, the books are going to rot as well. I really should have taken more care for them to actually make sure to get all that to the stockpile. Oh, you left some packaged meals there, bros. Okay, I need to stop giving them other jobs because they have not finished the main jobs. So let's stop this, let's stop that. They need to carry this stuff over from there over to here. And this roof needs to be finished so that they can sleep exactly on time, 22 hours, starting to be exhausted as soon as the roof is done and everything that is rotting can be hauled from there, they can go to bed. So. No, that's for Stefan to carry. You can carry that. You can carry. Nope, that's Stefan too. How about Luftov? Haul the food. And me, I'm going to haul. The, nope, can't haul. Can't haul. Oh, so might as well haul this. Now, because I didn't manage to finish this on time, I didn't haul this. I'm going to give them to work 23 hours and 0 hours, and then I'll just have them sleep for a bit longer. So let's go get this. Come on, folks, get that. What are you carrying? 25. You could carry a lot more than that. And why are you carrying that when I need you to carry? Interesting. What are you carrying? Wood. Food, come on. Okay, that's really annoying. Why are you doing that? Go pick that up. Where are they with their sleep schedule? Yeah, they're quite exhausted. Yeah, lots of is definitely exhausted, so let's let him sleep. Stefan not. I think Loftov has a trait that's making him be exhausted more. Yeah, because he's an early bird. Yeah, so he lost. He is sleeping faster than the others. Okay, let's go like this. Let's go, folks. You need to move this stuff. Schedule work at one as well. That's really unfortunate, but yeah, didn't pay attention when they were hauling this stuff, and now I have to do this almost manually. Why are you hauling the insignificant stuff instead of the, the important stuff? Oh, because <laughs> I see there's not enough room here. Okay, let's expand this a little bit then. Like so and so and then just add some more flooring. Okay, so now they should be able to carry all that's left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Move it, move it, move it. It's one o'clock and now they will go to sleep. I might as well leave that small... Wait, what is more hauling? Yeah, how about you paradise hauling that so it doesn't rot there? It is package meal, so it doesn't rot that fast, but still. Okay, now you can go to sleep at... Yeah, at 2. I just need to increase your sleeping time to match the rest. I might as well use copy then. So how many hours is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 hours should give them the sleep time they need. So who was last? Yukiusha was last. Let's have her have actually you or he or she, I'm not entirely certain. So one more hour. So I made Yukiusha a female because the character in a manga series, if I'm not mistaken, is called that or it's a cartoon, something like that. So I made it a female character because originally that name is female. Okay. It's seven, you're set up to sleep to eight. Let's see how's lots of, oh, full. Okay, that's nice. And the rest of them. Okay, everybody's full. Start your engines, people. <laughs> Day two to start here. So work for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours, sleep for four, and then work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then sleep some more. So from here and paste it onto the rest. Now the second day should have some entertainment and religion for them. Let's just see how are they when it comes to this. Like entertainment deprived of religious. Yeah. 
All right, let's see where do we build that. Do we go for a temple already? I mean, I do have the resources, so I might as well go with that. Let's just see where to put that. How about over here? Yeah, it can work. So let's go with this and this. Then we just go with the shrines that would be over here. So Oak Brethren Shine. Oh, but I do I have enough for decorative structures 15. Yeah, I need to go back to this so that I can unlock that and more food production. Oh, I have to re-edit this. So red currants, barley, no, and no wood or coal. That's okay. Now I need a door here, double door, like so. Yeah, okay, that will work. And the roof over it, like so. That will be one. And then on the other side, I'm going to well make the other one. Let's go with like so and so. I think that's about right. Yeah, I guess I could give it a little bit more room. So, wooden restitutionists, doorways. Let's go this time. Yeah, keep it like that. Roof above. That's the other temple and church. That's prepared. And they need a place to actually have some fun at. So, well, I think that should not be a problem to be made inside here. Although it doesn't really give them a bonus or anything. So, let's go with outside here. Like so. Let's go like so then. So they are idle. They are idle because they're not digging anything and they should continue digging this. And also the next level of this should be taken out. So let's go with this. Now, have they planted all this? Yes, they have. I even have some flax planted. Do I have any more seeds? I have lots of cabbage seeds. So I can harvest at, how about, well, if I go to seed, that will be too low of cabbage, cabbage six to one. So how about we go with go to seed on one and the rest can go with a ripe. Yeah, let's go with ripe and we'll see how that goes. Copy this one and set it up, let's say over here and expand it a little bit. It's not gonna go over there. Yeah, it's not, okay. And then expand it over here. So that's more cabbage and I probably have enough seeds for one more. So let's copy this one, put it like over here and then expand that to here. I should do it. You can pretty much cut all of this to get more sticks and wood. I do need wood for doorways, for example, and I do need more sticks for roofs. How is research? There we go. Brewing or furniture. We could go for good beds, although I need a lot of wood for that. And But that will lead me to decorative banners and decorative structures, so let's go with furniture. Now, for the beds, as I said, I need some hay. How much do I need for 10 beds? It's 200k hay. Okay, I can get that when I deconstruct these. And wood? Oh, 40 wood per bed. That's a lot of wood. I have enough, actually. Okay, and I'm cutting down some wood, so it should work. Okay, so I won't go with all the beds in one day. I will start this out a bit smaller because they might not be able to finish everything by the time they need to go to sleep again. Wait, and when do they go to sleep? Oh, right now. <laughs> okay, that would have been a bad thing if I have just destroyed these beds. So let's go with first making the extra beds and then tearing down the ones that I don't need. So let's go with a new bed here. And once that is finished, I can tear down one of these and then really make it as an actual bed. Arak, Hino, Yukiusha and Julie are tearing down this mountainside. That's good. I will need those materials. Place there, Peter, Yorkshire, Yorkshire, I always have a problem pronouncing this, is tearing down these trees. Maura is researching like a champ and now they're going for their midday nap. Now about those perks. So here we have the green thumb, the early bird and outgoing, which is awesome. Stefan is another green thumb and sun seeker, which means he loves working in the sun. We got a brony and call hardy for Julie. I have brony and whirlwind, which is awesome. Fast moving speed. Another green thumb. Awesome. Iron Stomach and Punch Drunk on Yukiusha. Don Wright is wise and vigorous. Arahino has more rebound. Hit points recovery, motor function, wood regeneration. Strout and Ruthless. You got the worst perks, mate. <laughs> and Yukiusha is a witchy. Animal handling plus three. Am I doing good on their sleeping schedule? So full, 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 full on 
pretty much all of them at 1900 hours and that's exactly when they wake up so this is perfect they just need some leisure activities finally because i think they finished these and these and yeah so they finished all of them so four hours of leisure time you've definitely earned it so that i can get rid of those negative mood modifiers finally i don't need them for tomorrow reducing my mood oh this is low mood desperately thirsty why are desperately thirsty let's do a, a wooden table and some chairs somewhere and yeah i do need the stairs down here what do i have more of clay or okay i will not use clay clay is rare to find on a mountain map so let's go with limestone limestone and then later with limestone flooring over here but as i said i want to make a table for them to be able to eat and drink and stuff like that let's go over here and put on some chairs i think they can actually a lot of them sit at the same table and let's go with another table over here with some chairs this is like the most horrible placement ever right now but it will get better in the next days when i have better places for them to sleep in and stuff let's go with the new bed although i've already given them a lot of jobs but i think they should be able to work this out so yeah the thing is that the wooden hay beds actually take more space than the hay sleeping spots do so that's something that has to be taken into calculation which is why i usually make this room bigger than the amount that these hay sleeping spots take is somebody going to deconstruct this soon oh yeah you're still doing your thing right you're still on leisure time wait how long till 23 but some of you are working i can hear you oddly enough yeah you just got to xp deprived of religious why are you not going to okay how about i give you another hour just to make sure okay i'll give you two hours before the next nap how about that so that should work out maybe he wasn't able to get in line because only two people can sit here at the same time and they were oh yeah i should have had half of them do leisure time before the nap and half of them on the nap. yeah that was my mistake okay so work time okay then but let's just go through who needs it so you don't need it you have everything satisfied you too you too actually no this oh just bad dream okay deprived of religious you need that time you don't need that time you don't need that time and you don't need that time and you so basically only place there didn't get to pray and that was it okay so let's go with now fixing this mistake Leisure time two for you here, and then leisure time for you. Actually, no, you won't even get to need it back then. So let's go with leisure time over here for you guys. So, and work time all around for you here. And that, so just you, actually the two of you need some more religious time. Okay. And this bed is removed. You can add a new one over here. I think I used up all the seats for cabbage i'm not sure oh i need more space how about that okay i should expand over here and then add some more floating that should do it why do i have two longbows not used don't uh, you people have skill for this julie's marksman 11 yes she took a good crossbow i'll need to change some of this peter has marksman 15 okay that's just not right peter come over here drop that bow there where is that so drop the bow and go get this you're free to go julie you drop that and go get that long bow and you're free to go okay so that's much better now over here how's the bed nope not done yet oh the stairs are done excellent we can start digging further down how's the mountainside going it's going away that's cool we don't really have where are my seeds seeds for cabbage six remaining and some birch saplings oh might as well plant those birch tree let's put some trees trees can grow in this kind of rocky terrain which is one of the tips you gave me and it is a brilliant tip so that's birch sapling one more birch tree okay so where was it that i found i think it was all the way here that i found those wild plants oh i think it was over here here we go so flax growing wild some more but it's ripe and there are no berries that are ripe here 
I think there were some more over here. Oh, there we go. There they are. So a lot of them are ripe now and ripening soon. I will need some extra hay, so I will get some of that as well. Let's see, where do we go from here? Is this going to fall apart? Yeah, linen cloth is actually falling apart. And so are the mechanical components. So I need to get those over to another side. So manufactured, mm, is that manufactured? No, textiles. So no textiles there, but textiles over here. And manufactured, I need the mechanical comp components over here and not here. Talon beeswax, I think those decompose as well. So we'll move them over here. Talon beeswax. Okay, so that's more finer control over these things. Chronicle pile, that's over here. Whoa, Julie, what happened? I clicked on you. I did click on her, didn't I? My mouse was over here. That was really unfortunate. What time is it? Seven? She, oh yeah, she didn't sleep almost at all. Okay, that was really unfortunate. Let's give her two hours extra here and some leisure time before that, and then we'll fix that a bit later. Sorry, Julie, an oversight on my part. Now, that's food, so that's 16. I definitely am using up all the cabbage piles, although there is a little bit more, and this is decomposing, so I need to keep digging down here to make a basement for that. The house on the inside, should I just not disable the roof? That's faster. So yeah, let's tear down these two and make some more beds instead of those. So let's go, somebody should come over here and do that. Where are my beds? Come on, folks. Is somebody going to get over here? Decompose these? Well, not decompose, deconstruct these. There we go. Two, and let's go. Lift off the third one. Nope, you're just clean house. Okay, Araki, no, thank you very much. So that's three new beds. They should be able to construct them before their nap time. Stefan is tearing down this rocky soil, that's good. The mountainside is kind of clean, but I don't want to spend any more time on that. How much do I have? I have a birch sapling. So birch, birch, copy. Copy, not extend. There we go. And some more cabbage seeds. Let's extend something. Or just make a totally new one. How about a new one? Copy, and let's go over here. Six. There we go. Although that's kind of close to this one. Let's, yeah, let's reduce that from, no, that's expand. I want to reduce. So like so and so, that's six. Okay, how are the beds going? That's good. And I can tear down more of these and turn them into actual beds. Now here, it's not going to fit. And if I put this one here, it's going to block. So I'll just put one here and not anything here. Or I could just actually extend this a little bit. This is all covered with the roof, is it not? I can just make this room a little bit bigger by digging into this area here. Yeah, with the roof covering everything. Whoa, wait, did I just tell them to destroy what the roof is leaning on? Yeah, it's a good thing I stopped myself. So no, that would have been a bad idea. Let's not do that. I can just expand or make another building to house the rest of the beds. So let's see how many do we have now. With these two added, we have one. We will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds. And that just requires three more. So I think they should all fit. We won't destroy any more beds because I need to wait for these to be completed. And they do have now a place to drink, to eat. What is the schedule? So these two are having their leisure time here, but they should actually be moved over to leisure time. No, they don't need double leisure time. So this should be work time. So leisure, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. So that's good. And can I unlock the decorative structures yet? No, I need 15, that's 10. Come on, Moro, work faster, work faster. Are the beds completed? Not yet, okay. And this is awesome. There's lots of red currents. I can actually even expand this a little bit. Let's go over here. Let's go with here and then a bit over here and here. Awesome. Any other seeds? Some cabbage, but that's fine. Wait, why do I even have cabbage when I thought I used it up all? Okay, let's expand this a little bit more and use it all up. Now, for the trees, I do need to cut more. Let's find all the dead trees and set them up for cutting. Now, I won't get saplings by cutting down dead trees, but these dead trees would be a waste of resources if they're allowed to just die without them being cut. So that's why I'm going to cut all the dead trees first. And they do have lots of jobs, I think. And I think they cut down that hole that I'm making so I can go down further. Yes, they have. 
Oh wait, did I go in the opposite direction? Oh my god, I just noticed. I was playing too fast and this may become a real issue now. Or not, actually there's an easy fix for this. Yeah, I'm really trying to play this episode much faster because it's starting from zero again, so you have plenty of stuff to see. But that's why I'm making mistakes like this, so I have to wait for them to actually build this and then cut down this one and then destroy all so I can dig, dig deeper and make the next staircase. Yeah, it seems they want to do that right now. So how am I with beds? Okay, so all of these are constructed. I just need to reconstruct these three. And they're getting in, no problem. So that's good. Is somebody finished with this? Yeah, and now Julie can dig this. So, mistake fixed. Okay, this will take a while. I think I got, oh, day three, almost up to day four. This is probably the fastest start of Let's Play I've ever made. And I think this is definitely enough for our first episode. Thank you all for watching, especially my subscribers for joining me in this Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next episode.